good morning students so <coughs> we were discussing about the different physical properties of metals and yesterday uh, that is last class uh, we were discussing the physical state of metals i told you that uh, most of the metals they are solids most of the metals they exist in solids only uh, that is the uh, uh, mercury mercury is the only metal that exists in the liquid state at room temperature except all um, except mercury all other metals are uh, they exist in solid state and no metals exist in gas state and then uh, about non metals non metals are exist either in the solid state or in the gas state and uh, only one non metal that is bromine bromine exist in Uh, liquid state at room temperature uh, and uh, all other metals that is they exist either in the solid state or in the gaseous state so that uh, we have already uh, uh, discussed in the uh, previous class and the next property so physical state we discussed uh, and then the second property uh, another property is at <coughs> malleability that is the uh, another property malleability uh, metals can be changed into that can be drawn into thin sheets by hammering by hammering we can make them into thin sheets this property of metals which can be drawn into thin sheets by hammering that is called malleability that property is called malleability so most of the metals are malleable uh, you can see that uh, a silver uh, the symbol of silver is ag that is silver aluminum gold copper etc these are malleable They, these are malleable copper and uh, iron also it is malleable uh, so <coughs> uh, these are some of the malleable metals because what is the malleability malleability is the property of metals that which can be drawn into uh, thin sheets by hammering by hammering and uh, uh, what about the non metals so the non metals are not malleable non metals are not malleable instead if we are hammering the non metals they break into pieces they break into pieces so that is why they are called uh, they are brittle in nature they are brittle that is non metals are brittle in nature that is which can when we are hammering non metals they um, they are split into pieces they are split into or break into pieces so that is they are brittle in nature and uh, in the case of uh, metals metals they are malleable but uh, zinc except zinc zinc when we are hammering by hammering zinc instead of uh, made into uh, that is instead of uh, you know they are changing into uh, thin sheets here this zinc metal is also brittle in nature they are they may uh, they split into pieces so uh, except zinc uh, most of the metals they are malleable in nature they are malleable we can be uh, we can uh, drawn them into uh, thin sheets that is called malleability okay and non metals they are not malleable instead they are brittle for example uh, you know um, coke or charcoal uh, uh, when uh, then sulfur etc by hammering they made into or they break into pieces small pieces that is that is uh, that is the brittleness so they are brittle in nature they are brittle in nature okay then another property so Uh, we are comparing metals and non-metals with their physical properties. 
So, uh, first one I told you that is uh, physical state, second one the malleability and the third one ductility. ductility. Uh, you can see that uh, there are uh, certain metals which can which can make them into uh, we can make them into uh, thin wires. So, that property the property of metals which can be which can drawn into thin uh, wires that is called ductility that and that that is the uh, metals are ductile in nature they are ductile in nature we can uh, we can make the metals into the thin wires thin wires that is called a ductility and you can see that uh, you know the wires which are used in household uh, wirings and all uh, what which metal we are using that is copper copper is used and then aluminum is using uh, and then uh, some other metals also the uh, or even iron is also ductile uh, aluminum is also ductile then uh, uh, silver is also ductile all these are ductile so which can we can make them into thin uh, or we can draw them into thin wires that is called uh, ductility ductility of metals. So, this is uh, uh, ductility and what about non metals non but non metals are non ductile because we can uh, uh, it is not possible to make them into thin wires uh, sulfur powder or um, uh, sulfur or phosphorus etcetera we can't make them into uh, thin wires. So, they are non ductile non metals are non ductile okay? that is ductility and then other property malleable ductility then another important property is that they are good conductors of heat. Metals are good conductors of heat. We know that uh, uh, iron, aluminum. You can see utensils. That is, utensils is uh, they are made up of what? They are made up of aluminum. Aluminum utensils are there. Copper utensils are there, and then iron utensils are there. Why we are using uh, this copper, iron, and uh, 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 aluminum? Because they are good conductors of heat they are good conductors of heat and among this silver is a good conductor of electricity uh, sorry uh, heat silver is the best conductor of heat uh, they conduct heat and uh, uh, not only silver uh, among among the metals silver is the best conductor of heat uh, they conduct uh, uh, then aluminum also conduct uh, heat then iron uh, etc all these uh, metals they conduct heat. So, they are good conductors of heat that is why they are using in uh, they are using in uh, utensils and also in boilers for making boilers. I will uh, show you the pictures of uh, boilers. So, uh, boilers then utensils are made up of metals why because they are good conductors of heat. And what about non metals? Non metals are bad conductors they are bad conductors of heat they will not conduct heat except except diamond except diamond diamond is a diamond is a good conductor of heat but uh, rest of all the non metals they are bad conductors of heat they are bad conductors of heat okay then another property so non metals are bad conductors of heat except diamond diamond is a good conductor of heat and then another property lust metals are lust lustrous they are they are showing the property lustrous they are lustrous in nature they have shiny appearance that is called a lustrous metals are having shiny appearance so, because of this shiny appearance uh, they are used in making uh, jewelries you know jewelry and then uh, for uh, decorating um, articles 
the, the uh, decorating articles are also made up of metals because they show metallic luster their surface is shiny that is that is called a metallic luster they show metallic luster metallic luster that shiny appearance is called a metallic luster that is why you know ornaments that is jewelry items then then uh, decorative articles are made up of metals because they show metallic luster and not only that no uh, when light falls on these metals they reflect the light they because of this shiny appearance they reflect the light and that is why you know in certain mirrors a back side of the mirrors is coated with uh, aluminum or silver because uh, these metals what they reflect the light when li light falls on the mirror. So, at the back side of the mirror it is coated with uh, um, uh, silver or aluminum because they reflect the light when light falls on uh, the mirror. So, uh, that is uh, due to the uh, nature that is lustrous nature of uh, metals. And what about non metals? Non metals are not lustrous, they are they are not lustrous, uh, they have a dull appearance. Instead of luster, they have a dull appearance. They have a dull appearance. Dull appearance except iodine, except iodine and graphite. Iodine and graphite they show some, some less luster. Uh, and all other non metals they are they are having dull appearance they do not they do not show any uh, luster any luster, uh, luster property but they have dull appearance but iodine and graphite graphite is a form of carbon it is also a non metal iodine also a non metal but these two non metals they show some uh, luster okay so that is the fifth property then the sixth one they are good conductors of electricity they are good conductors of metals are good conductors of electricity because we are we are comparing both metals and non metals metals are good conductors of electricity uh, and that's why you know uh, <coughs> the wiring household wirings we are using uh, we are using what uh, metals that is copper is used in that wire aluminum is using that wire and among these al uh, silver is the best conductor of electricity silver is the best conductor of elect electricity among metals silver is the best conductor of electricity followed by uh, uh, followed by what uh, copper aluminum etc okay copper and then aluminum and iron iron also they conduct electricity and uh, silver is the best conductor of electricity among metals and that's why we are using um, uh, household uh, uh, wirings we are using copper copper wire uh, why we are not using silver because silver is costly that's why we are not using silver but uh, you know uh, copper is using aluminum is using but aluminum uh, uh, you know what is the um, disadvantage of aluminum is that aluminum when uh, it exposed to air they combine with oxygen and they form aluminum oxide. So, uh, that may uh, uh, you know uh, it may uh, show some uh, you know uh, that is um, some barriers they act as sometimes they will not conduct uh, electricity because uh, by the formation of aluminum oxide. So, that is why uh, uh, we are using copper. Uh, uh, both we are using copper and uh, uh, aluminum, but aluminum when we expose to air uh, it, it may forms aluminum oxide, they readily forms aluminum oxide and that is why we are not using any water, uh, we are not using uh, aluminum, uh, but we are using, uh, but uh, copper is copper in uh, if we are comparing the usage of aluminum and copper copper is using uh, more than uh, aluminum both are good conductors of electricity okay and what about the non metals non metals 
they are bad conductors of electricity they will not conduct electricity except graphite graphite is a good conductor of electricity graphite conduct you know pencil lead you know uh, the in batteries you can see uh, this graphite graphite is a uh, good conductor of electricity except graphite all other metals all other non metals are bad conductors of electricity and then seventh one they are hard metals are hard and strong see i have written all these properties for metals so we are comparing metals and non metals in the case of metals metals they are hard and strong metals are hard and strong you know uh, all the metals are very strong uh, iron you know that is why uh, iron is a very strong metal that is why we are using uh, for making buildings uh, bridges and then uh, making machines etc why because they are very hard uh, very hard metals metal uh, most of the metals are hard in nature except uh, sodium and potassium sodium and uh, potassium sodium and potassium they are soft metals they are soft metals sodium we can uh, cut with the knife can cut with knife and potassium also uh, they are soft metals uh, but all uh, most of the metals are uh, hard and strong they are hard and strong and what about non metals non metals are uh, they are they are not so strong they are not so hard uh, uh, most of the non metals are uh, what soft except diamond diamond you know diamond is the hardest substance in the nature no uh, in the nature that is diamond is the hardest substance ha except diamond uh, all non metals are they are uh, not so hard so uh, most of the metals are hard and strong and the last property metals they are sonorous they are sonorous they are sonorous because when we uh, hammer when we uh, strike with uh, a hard substance or uh, when we strike the metals with a hard substance you know they produce a ringing sound they produce a ringing sound that is called sonority or that process uh, that uh, property is called sonorous they are sonorous they process sonority that is they are sonor metals are sonorous they produce ringing sound when we uh, hit with the uh, hard material so that is metals are uh, that is why you know the musical instruments the strings are metals and then uh, you know bell is made up of uh, uh, metals why because they produce ringing sound and uh, and some uh, <coughs> one example in your textbook it is given uh, that is uh you know one example that is um, wind chime you know a wind chime a wind chime i will show you the pictures wind chime the wind chime when we uh, you know when strike uh, the different uh, uh, threads oh, sorry the, the different rods of the wind chime when we strike one another you know they produce uh, sounds that is ringing sound that is because of uh, sonority sonority of metals and what about non metals non metals they do not uh, show any uh, property of sonority they are not so they are non sonorous they are not sonorous okay so these are the different uh, physical properties of metals and uh, non metals okay and i will show you the chart of metals and non metals and uh, i will uh, give you uh, what are the difference between what are the physical uh, properties of metals and the comparison differences between phys uh, the physical properties of metals and non metals okay okay that's all have a nice day